Let's start with the big news from the world of publishing. Hillary Clinton does some unloading of her own in a new book on the campaign titled What Happened. She talks about what it was like to stand on the same stage as her opponent during one of the presidential debates. Hillary Clinton says her skin crawled as Donald Trump hovered and paced behind her on stage at a presidential debate last October. Oh, snap. <laughs> Hillary going hard on Donald Trump, and, and she's smart, too. She's doing it in the one place he'll never find her, a book. I like that. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done, Hillary. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to read this book, because all through the campaign, half of the time I was like, I wonder what's going through Hillary's mind right now. I wonder what's going through... Like, that doesn't happen with Trump, you know? That's... It's more like, can you stop telling us what's going through your mind right now? <laughs> can you just stop? Like, Trump is not saving anything for his book. He's gonna be the first president whose memoir is just gonna be like a pop-up book. It's just like, ah! <laughs> Why is it grabbing me? Ah! <laughs> so that debate, that debate Hillary's talking about was really uncomfortable. And we actually get to hear it from Hillary herself because there's also an audiobook. Well, what would you do? Do you stay calm, keep smiling, and carry on as if he weren't repeatedly invading your space? Or do you turn, look him in the eye, and say loudly and clearly, back up, you creep. Get away from me. That's a, that's a good question. What can you do to stop Trump? No one knows. What, do you squirt ink at him like a squid? Do you <laughs> shake your keys over your head to distract him? Do you, do you pee your pants? Well, he might like that. I don't know. I... <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what to do. You, you know what does suck for Hillary, though, is she's got a great story to tell. But you have to admit, she's not a great performer. Like, do you hear the audiobook? Like, it sounded like someone said, hey, Alexa, read me a story. <laughs> but nothing too interesting. I'm trying to fall asleep. It just... <laughs> like, there's, there's like a, like a weird... It's like, I bet when Hillary asks Siri for directions, Siri's like, are you mocking me? <laughs> also, here are directions to Wisconsin. <laughs> like, at, at the end of the day, I guess that's, that's always been Hillary's gift and her curse, right? Great mind not a great performer. Uh, and to understand the power of performance, you just have to look at the man who enabled her to write that book, Donald Trump. All right, Hillary Clinton's polar opposites, or the bipolar opposites. <laughs> no, because every day this week, we have seen a wildly different Donald address the nation. Right? On Monday, we had teleprompter Trump, gave a somber speech on Afghanistan. Then on Tuesday, we got freestyle Trump at a rally. <laughs> right? Then Wednesday, sincere Trump called for national unity. Three days, three Trumps. I mean, like, maybe Hillary only has one setting, but Trump is like one of those Japanese toilets. He's got too many settings to figure out. <laughs> so many settings, so many settings. You just wind up crying and pooping in the corner. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's confusing, and clearly the media is having a hard time keeping up. I have whiplash. It's like, which president is going to show up today? The unleashed president we saw Tuesday, and the, uh, or the teleprompter president that we saw tonight. It really has been like a tale of two Trumps. The president seems to be confused. We just don't know which president Trump is going to show up at any particular moment. Why does he keep going back and forth and back and forth, though? Trump's whiplash, three personas in three speeches, but the yeah. same president. Yeah. Insane. There's serious Trump, somber Trump, freestyle Trump. Personally, I'm waiting for the first appearance of uh, reggae Trump. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. That's gonna be exciting. Make one build a wall, and Mexico one pay for it. Blah, 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 blah. Bigly, bigly. That's what I'm waiting for. Now, now, although, although people. <laughs> Although people would like to believe, would like to believe that Donald Trump switches every day because he's not in control, I think it's the opposite. This is not a bug of Donald Trump, it's a feature. He's in full control of which persona shows up. He told us about it this morning. He tweeted, the fake news is now complaining about my different types of back-to-back -back speeches. Well, there was Afghanistan, somber. <laughs> The big rally, enthusiastic, dynamic, and fun. <laughs> and the American Legion, respectful and strong. <laughs> and is it just me, or does it feel like Trump is modeling his personalities for us, you know? <laughs> this is Afghan Trump, Shamber. Rally Trump, enthusiastic, <laughs> dynamic, and fun. 
American Legion Trump, respectful and strong.